and here we are uh, taking a look at the virtual aquarium. I'm going to select uh, some fish, uh, but I can't. i got to be careful because one fish could eat the other. i got to get some plants for food and oxygen in the water. I have a bubbler I can turn on and off. I have food I need to feed, and I have a water temperature that I need to uh, maintain. So this is going to be challenging. This is probably the most challenging one so far. Asking for uh, a lot more uh, inputs, a lot more data. Uh, so let's see, I got my fish rock in here. Get some plants. There we go. Put the bubbler on there. All right. Uh, let's warm it up a little bit, 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, let's see, let's get some food. Fish 3 was eaten by fish 1. Fish 2 was eaten by fish 1. Okay, so I'm down fish. I've got one fish left. Alright, I'm going to see what's going on here. Oh, that was just the help button. Let's go back to the aquarium. Need stop. Okay, so I'm not really seeing uh, what the deal is with this, uh, <laughs> as far as its educational value. Uh, my fish are getting eaten, I don't really know why. Uh, and they're leaving skeletons in the bottom of my fish tank. So I'm going to have to revisit this one. Uh, I understand the concept of a virtual aquarium, but uh, it kind of escapes me as to the educational value of this because I don't know how my choices have affected the outcome.